Hey guys, this is Chris Fate coming back at you. Today I'm going to take a look at Grand Theft Auto 5. There are a ton of good cheats out there for this game, and Sneaky Mopo has some of the best. He was some, he was one of the first ones to get uh, this game uh, hacked pretty good to get some videos up for people uh, to enjoy some cheats. That's how I got this uh, money up here. <laughs> you see, I got like two billion. <laughs> I used uh, Sneaky Mopo's. Uh, uh, cheat uh, with the stock market which I thought was just killer and uh, also I have uh, a bunch of other things I have infinite health uh, also for your car as well however your car will still take damage physically as far as you know the graphics are concerned it still looks like your car is getting beat up however your health never goes down so you'll never really blow up so you can go do them killer stunts and still have your car unless it turns upside down uh, infinite ammo uh, also got never wanted uh, hacked out uh, infinite stamina infinite breath underwater and I'm getting rid of this one because it don't work I was I hadn't really dug into the aircraft shit which they are also on another uh, different op code I believe because they don't share the same health code uh, with that so I have to go script them out later or they might share the same op code but they don't share the same offsets with comparisons that the car does they're completely different so i've got to go do all that mess and it just takes a while but today i'm going to talk about uh the range game or when you go to the shooting range you have this uh multiplier and every time you shoot a target and hit the target uh the score will automatically multiply or you know go up to four and then it resets at zero and just keep going up from there but however we can look up a code and freeze the value uh to where that multiplier just goes up every single time you hit the target so and that's what we're going to look at today and you can use the same technique for other things as well uh mostly i found uh stamina ammo stuff like that the same way a lot of good vids out there to go check out too so let me get to the shooting range i think i'm still at the house location right now and i'll be right back with you Nobody. all right here we are at the shooting range oops let's uh get back to the game here bypass all this mess this is from a new game I've started actually so all right just wait for the game to start and the graphics pop up timer started good and uh, this is what we're gonna do yeah get rid of that what we're gonna do is we're going let me pull this over here uh, we're gonna go on a four byte the multipliers location is on a four byte and we're going to go ahead and not do anything right now. Let's go ahead and get it up to about two. Because if you start searching at zero and one, it's just going to take it forever. So let's just go up to about two. And you see the little uh, gauge going up there. So we're at two now. Two little purple dots there. So we're going to go ahead and put two to begin our search. And you get a ton of crap. <clears throat> but it won't take long to get. It's real straightforward. Alright. Now you can see we're at 3. So we're going to hit 3. Do another search. Alright. Now we're really weeding them down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shoot it past 4. And then it'll start back over. You see, it changed to two, but now the blips have gone back down to zero. So we are searching for zero now. There we go. And we only got 21, so we are about good to go here. And what's good about this code, even if you don't get it on the first try, it will still be the same code uh, for the next time you uh, do this. So. So we're at three. As long as you don't close your game down, it'll still be the same uh, address. So that's a good thing. So you see we only got uh, a few addresses here. Uh, 
don't know. I, I think I still want to weed that down a little bit. Because you get one wrong, this game will crash on you. Alright, let's see which one's hit four. Alright, that's the bottom three, as you see here. So, the bottom three... Now, what we have is actually two graphical codes, and we have an internal code. I believe the internal code is the one on the bottom. So, if I put that down to zero, and go back to the game. Oh, it didn't change. Okay. One of these will work. Yeah, it was the middle one. Okay. All right, so let's go back into the challenge. You'll probably say I failed or something. And we're going to do the first challenge again. But this time, we're going to set that, the one that we found, to four. Keep Put it on four. Keep it on four. Now, I would write out a script for it, but uh, it's really, really difficult because just so many codes are sharing the op code that's handling that. And it's, I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds of thousands. It's next to impossible or beyond me at the moment so you know I, that'll probably take a lot more work but this will get you where you need to be it's real easy to look up you can get it just put it on four freeze it and you'll see your multiplier go up every single bullet watch you see they're already full and every time i shoot the gun it's just going to go up see to two three four Well, I don't think it goes beyond three. But you can see your points will just shoot up. You can pass these challenges like nothing. I guess I should have turned on my infinite ammo code. I mean, look at that. I mean, score 35, 25, and you're good to go. Also, let me show you something. We will find out what writes to this address. Because all these other values are on that same exact opcode as well. And we're gonna find the we're gonna find the score itself, okay? I'm gonna do challenge one again. We're just gonna hit a target. And you see it went up to two automatically here, so that's all we really need at the moment. Uh, let's see. There we go. Doing this similar. Okay. What I want to do is I just want to go to dissect data structure. Go to tools. I can't see. I'm sorry. I still had to get rid of replace my screen yet I need to do that uh, there is dissect data structure we're just going to copy this address that we found the multiplier on and we're just going to copy it into the file here now you'll need to go in there and uh, no I guess it went automatically I'm sorry I'm used to doing it another way and it don't put the d3 in front of there what you want to do is uh, make sure that you put minus 10 because no, we don't have to do that for this one. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just don't listen to that. All right. So go ahead and define new structure. Click OK. Yes. OK. And we see a 100 is our score here. Let's just look at that. I'll set 28. We got 100. Got a 300 uh, offset, 80, 300, 300. Got another 100 at 128. So let's go increase our score a little bit and see what may be affected. All right, now we're at 200. See if anything changed to 200. Ah, look at that. Right here. I believe we found our score code. So let's go ahead and add that to the address list right here. You can also mash hotkey A, just highlight it, mash hotkey A, or you can just right click it and mash add to address list. Alright, 
and now we got this 200 here let's just set that up to uh, 9999 let's see what happens hopefully it won't crash us ah look at that if you want you can also mash the plus on your number keypad if you mash plus it's going to do this it's going i also have a hot key set for it which i shouldn't but uh you see that little up arrow that means it'll allow increase so that means your score will keep going up watch see that you'll pass every single challenge in here Look at that score. <laughs> and you see, that's that's really how quick you can do it. And it's that just that easy, just that simple. And you can go through every single range challenge as long as you don't close out your game. Uh, those addresses will remain the exact same. I and mean, you can just use those as long as you have your game up. If you come back to it, decide to do it later and do those challenges, uh, you can... Just do that again. It doesn't take very long. You can find the other addresses uh, for all these in that dissect data structure. But really, all you really need to do is manipulate your score or the multiplier or both, however you want to do it, and you're good to go. But that's that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys that. I just kind of was playing around with it, and I said, well, hell, I'll just put it on there. I'm sure somebody will like it. All right. <laughs> Well, you guys take it easy. You all have a great one. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. I'll go ahead and uh, leave a download link uh, for my particular codes here if you'd like to have them. Remember, these were uh, modded on a version 5. I do not know if they work on other versions or not. These are all Array of Byte skins, so they might, but I cannot guarantee it. Um, I have not tested it on any other version, so uh, you can give it a shot. And if it does, wonderful. If it don't, uh, please accept my apologies. All right, but I'll leave the link for that in the description if you want it. And I'll be adding more cheats to it at a later date as well and just keep adding on to it. If y'all want that, you're more than welcome to it. All right, y'all have a great one. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourselves. That's really what everything is all about. Cheat the game, fellas. That's what I'm talking about.